All right, this part should be easy. If you've used Tractor before, you're gonna open the preferences by clicking on the gear icon in the upper right. Make sure you select Controller Manager in the drop down. Go to Import. Browse for the TSI file you downloaded. Uh, that would normally be in your Downloads folder. Mine's not at the moment. When you load it, it should automatically select your WeGo if it's plugged in and turned on. Mine isn't when I was doing this screen capture. That's why it didn't come up. Alright, well, let's give this thing a shot here. Eh, of course, my phone goes off. That's cool. Um, that happens in pretty much every demo video. Uh, yeah, I'll say I'm um, about 300 times. Um, there's another one. Try to give you guys a quick run through of my half working four deck mapping for Pioneer's DDJ WeGo. As you can see, I've got the controller here. Uh, it's probably upside down. If I can flip that video, great. It'll be right side up. If not, you know, kind of twist your head around and it'll seem right side up. You can use Virtual DJ. This is my mapping for Tractor. That's the software I prefer. Uh, so yeah, mapped it out. It's uh, right now a basic, basic four deck mapping. So let's jump right into it. Just to show you that uh, uh, the line faders work. I don't have the cross fader on screen, but you'd see that going across. Um, let's go ahead and change this to something that's easier to see. The, well, actually, we'll go back to the other one. Which was, I don't know which one that was. Anyway, I think the uh, Q Master is mapped. There's a lot of stuff that's still not mapped. These auto loops are not mapped. They don't do anything right now. Uh, these are not MIDI controls, so obviously those work just as the hardware controls the way you'd expect them to. Uh, only thing that's mapped right now in uh, Jog Effects, and I think it's mapped for all four decks, is Control A actually functions as a filter toggle, and then you would adjust it with the Jog Wheel. Uh, as you can see, that doesn't have LED feedback right now. Still working on that. Um, I've been having to do trial and error to figure out, you know, what the LED output is for a lot of this stuff. I was able to find the VU meters uh, for the channel output, so you'll see that. The way I set up the browsing. Um, it seemed to make sense to me. I may end up changing it. Comments, suggestions, welcome. Uh, it only works when you're in browser only mode, which you enter by hitting the browse knob. So then, much like the standard in virtual DJ, you scroll up and down through your tracks, load A, load B, you toggle over to deck C and D, which I have those blue, just to tell the difference, blue and green, eh, no real significance there. And then the loads work for deck C and D the same way. If you want to go up and down through the folders, you hold the shift button, and that'll take you up and down through your folders, or through your playlist, folders, whatever. And if you've got shift held down and you're in browse mode, pressing the browse encoder will expand and collapse the folders. These awesome number playlists are from uh, 
mixed in key for harmonic mixing, which I can't say I'm particularly good at, but yeah, something I'm trying to work on. So you just hit the browse encoder again to drop out of browse mode. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when I loaded up those tracks, these high cue lights lit up. There's four hot cues. Uh, actually, there's eight hot cues, but there's four set on this track right now. That's not very loud. That probably won't come through on the mic. One, two, one, two, three, and four. I guess two, three, and four are stacked. So, and shift deletes any of the hot cues. Uh, since I have the same track loaded on both sides, as I deleted them on the right, the lights went off on the left. If you hit the sampler button, that actually has nothing to do with the sampler, uh, nothing to do with the remix decks. If you're on Tractor 2.5 or 2.5.1, which I'm using, uh, that actually shifts between the first four hot cues and then high cues five through eight. So if we just play through this track, turn that down so you can still hear me. Um, and notice the VU meter here. It took me uh, quite a bit of trial and error to work that one out. Um, so we can set high cues five, six, seven, and eight. 5, 6, 7, and 8. If we shift this one, you'll see them switch over. And we can go back and clear those out. So if the sampler light is on, you're on high cues 5 through 8. Um, while this is playing, you can see the jog wheels do work. I've got the sensitivity dialed really fairly low right now uh, that's my preference as well as the pitch bend is fairly low so if you want to dial that up um, you know leave a comment or um, I'll try to post directions on how to adjust that it's actually really really simple um, of course the tempo faders work the way you'd expect them to those are soft pickup so it's actually this is gonna sound terrible but let's get this bottom track playing and you'll see that it's uh, now it's gonna wait until that fader matches it's called soft pickup same with the line faders. Back up here and stop that. Uh, sync buttons for all four tracks. Shift plus sync sets the master track. Get that back to where it was. Um, that's about all this mapping has right now. Obviously, the uh, low, mid, and high kills. Those work for all four tracks. Um, the PFLs work for all four decks. Um, yeah, I still need to add the looping and uh, some jog effects here, but I want to go ahead and get this mapping out, let people have a chance to try it, get some feedback, and uh, see where to go from there. So, yeah. Hope it works for you.